Hey friends, how are you doing? I hope you are well. I wanted to talk about a couple books that I finished since the last time I was recording. And I actually recorded a couple of um, mini lectures this morning for my classes. So I thought I would just go ahead and talk about some books while I'm at it, because why not? So here we are. Sidebar, if you are interested in watching some lectures for my class, uh, let me know and I will be happy to link you to that YouTube channel because uh, the two lectures that I recorded this morning are near and dear to my heart. They're about um, CIA interventions in Iran and Guatemala in the 50s and how ultimately kind of there's this connection to the genocide in Guatemala in the 1980s. And then... Um, Hopefully you can't hear my washing machine going. You probably can. Oh well. Um, and then also the second video was about the Rwandan genocide and kind of the both the limits of um, international organizations like the UN and um, also a little bit of uh, the technology used for propaganda in that situation. So let me know if you're interested in that. The two books, however, that I wanted to talk about are books that I finished actually a few weeks ago now um i'm really i'll read like a few pages of one book and then i'll be done and then i'll read a few pages of another book and then i'll be done and i've read a bit on my kindle i guess but i don't i think i really feel like talking about although i did read a series about an archaeologist in a world in which uh, supernatural archaeology is a thing. So those were fun, if you're interested in that. Another book that I finished, this is actually, and I did not know this going into it, this is a YA book. It's called The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. This takes place in Alaska, and Alaska books are kind of like my kryptonite. I love them. Uh, this book was recommended to me by Summer, and I will try to remember to link her um, her channel down below. She knows that I like books about Alaska, and this is one that she recommended. This is about um, some teenagers experiencing life in very different ways in Alaska, and it kind of centers around, um, it doesn't center around, it explores themes of smell and how smell is connected to our memories. And that's, that's where the title comes from, which is pretty fun. Um, and we, we get a look at these different teenagers and, um, they're all for the most part kind of experiencing the same class of society, but they're experiencing it in very different ways according to their family situation or their um, native status. And um, eventually there's these three separate storylines that converge and it's beautiful. It is a really beautiful story and I really recommend it um, if you're into stories about people who are, I mean, it was a YA story, but I didn't feel like the angst was overdone. It felt like just the right amount of angst for um, some teenagers that are going through some very real things. There's a... Um, there's a pregnancy involved. There's uh, a lot of conflict with parents, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It was quite good. Uh, the other book that I finished, I talked about in my last video. This is "This Tender Land" by William Kent Kruger, and <clears throat> this book takes place uh, during the Great Depression. It follows two white boys who were orphaned and therefore living at an Indian boarding school. Um, I think it's important to, to note that they are white because um, the author's white. And I kept hearing, when I was hearing about this book, I kept hearing Indian boarding school and then I kept looking at the author's picture and I was like, this is not computing. The two main characters are white. Um, there is one native character uh, and we do get some of his perspective but we definitely get it through the perspective of the white boys um, kind of uh, experiencing this other character's um, how he learns about his heritage and that felt very authentic to me as far it didn't feel appropriative to me I guess is what I want to say um, this book is great if you like books about 
um, it's almost felt like a book about the West, even though it's not in that I got the sense of like wide open spaces. I got the sense of, um, place being important, not so much in, in the sense that you're tied to the history of a place, but that you can feel the place underneath you. Um, if that makes sense. So I think a lot of times when we talk about books and place being important, we think about characters being tied to a place and having lots of history there through generations of their family. That is certainly not the case here, but in each, um, place, every new setting that the characters experience, you really feel feel like you feel it with them, right? They are, they're either on the water and you, you, um, smell the water, you feel the water, you hear the experience of, of rowing down the water, or you, um, you really get the sense of each of these different places, even though the characters themselves don't have a lot of ties to each of the places. Uh, and I liked, I like that. I just love the writing style in this book. It is straightforward. It is not, um, it's not flowery, but it is profound. And there is an emphasis in this story, in this book on storytelling. And I think as readers and, um, people who love words, this, um, that made this more powerful. There is a slight magical realism element that comes in and, um, That was kind of the one place where the book almost lost me because I was like, what? Really? I'm not sure what's going on. It ended up working out and it ended up tying the story together quite nicely. So just kind of power through that. If you get there and you think that it doesn't fit with the story, just keep going. So anyways, these are the two books that I have read recently. I really loved both of them. I really recommend both of them if you're interested in how the setting in which a character is placed, whether they are there voluntarily or not, um, can really come through nicely in a story and how it can really influence the story. These were great examples for that. Let me know if you've read either of these or if you have any suggestions for other books like them. I would love to hear about it down below. Thanks so much. Stay well and healthy, everybody. Bye.